So this is learning packet two, day four. So since this packet is smaller, what I decided to do was to do five videos for learning packet two. So this is video four of five. Originally, I thought I would do 10, but there's just simply not enough work in the packet to do 10 days. So this is video four. Check out um, my YouTube channel for video five as well. Let's get started. All right. So what we will do is blue book first as usual. All right, so for blue book today, we are going to um, find the pieces that you need, of course, like we normally do. So you're gonna find like some pennies or something like Legos, anything that you can pull down each sound, okay? So let me put all my pieces up high, just like you. All right, and now say the word sun. Let's stretch it, sun. I'm going to pull down all the sounds in sun. S uh, mm. All right, now we're going to say it again. Say each sound. S uh, mm. Sun. Excellent. Let's pull it up. All right. Say all the sound or say this. Say the word pit. Stretch it out. Pit. Okay. Now say the sounds. It. Now let's say it. P it. Pit. Pull it back up. All right, and as you'll notice, the last one I didn't really say it as much with you. I'm trying to give you turn turn to think. So say mud. Mud. Okay, now pull it down. You say it. Excellent. You should have said, let me get my little marker. You should have said, mm, uh, duh, mud. All right, let's do a few more. Pull them back. Uh-oh, what did I do? Pull them back up. All right, here we go. Fan, fan. Ah. Mm. Ah. Mm. Fan. Push them back up. All right. Web. Web. So when you were pulling them down, you should have said wa e ba. Ready? Wa e ba. Web. And one more. Ooh, my favorite. Dog. Dog. D. A. G. Dog. Dog. All right. Now we'll exit that. And moving on. So we have Zoo Phonics. If you click the description box below um, Obmas Video, if you click the drop down, You'll see the description box, it'll say Zoophonics. And then if you can't find other videos, it also will say show more. So click down, you'll see it. Zoophonics is there. So you, at the end of this video, you'll play Zoophonics and do it. And then also at the end of the video is our site word, um, our site word page where you can um, click through all the sight words slideshow and practice them at the speed that you're comfortable with. So that link is down there below. And then we have reading. So every day we've been working on this page. This page is in the learning packet. So parents, make sure you check off this assignment in the learning menu. 
Um, we worked on short A, we worked on short E. Now it's time to work on short I. So all of the words will have short I in them. So find this page, or if you don't feel like finding the page, you can just do it on the screen with me. All right, let's make it nice and big. So we have the these words. So I want you to pay really close attention. Short I. That means the I says I, 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 like any inch room, okay? All of these words have the I sound, okay? So when you get, and this is all in the middle. See? It's in the middle because we have the beginning is right here. Whoa, what did I do? The beginning is right here. And the ending is right here, right? This is the first. This is the last. So that makes this the middle. All right? And the middle sound for all of these words, I, I, I. Here we go. Let's say them together. Okay? B. I. G. B. I. G. Big. Okay, let's do the next one. W. I. G. W. I. G. Wig. Let's do the one at the bottom. P. I. N. P. I. N. Pin. See, it makes it easy when you know what the middle sound is. You can read it faster. All right. Now we have this next one, okay? So I'm going to, uh, to make it a little more challenging, I'm only going to put the little dots on here like this for you while you say it, okay? I want you to pay attention because these also have the same middle sound. All of them have I in the middle, okay? So let's do it. Start here, you say it, I'm not saying it. I hope you said it right. Okay, so now I'll say it with you. K, I, T, kit. Good. Now let's do the next one. Your turn. Okay, I'll do it with you now. M, I, X, mix. Your turn. O list list. All right, we have I think two more. Yep. Oh, oh, actually one more because we already did list. That'll make it easy. Okay, your turn. Okay, so this is a very tricky word. Okay. So this word is d. I, sh. So what you might want to do when you're reading it, you're probably going to do this. D, I, s, because the S says S and the H says H. But that doesn't make sense. That's not a word. D, I, S, H. Doesn't make sense, right? Because when you take the letter S right here and the letter H, the letter S and H, they aren't friends. They like to hang out. So when S and H are side by side together, when it says S first and then the H, they make a cool sound. Do you know what sound these two letters, when you squish them together, they make a new sound. They don't say S. <sighs> nope. When S and H are together, you know what they say? They say Shh. 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 Okay? So when you see S and H together, with the S first and then the H, it says shh, okay? So let's read this word. D, I, sh. D, I, sh. D, I, sh. Dish. It's a tricky one. That's like a first grade skill that you'll be working on. Okay, I hope I taught you something. Okay, now, Let's do ending sounds. Let's get out of here. How do I work? Okay, here we go. Ending sounds. 
So we have our fitness fluency load. All right, so I need to stop saying all right. I say that too much. Okay, I'll say okay instead of all right. So we have fitness fluency. These are fun because you get to do cool exercises. So this is a lamp. What's at the end? The last sound, lamp. That's right. Mouse. Is that the end? Okay. Crab. B, 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 b. Good. Bird. D, d, excellent. Ooh, let's say this is gum. Mm, that's right. Oh, get some squats. Do some squats. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, we have an elephant. What do you hear at the end? Elephant. T -t -t, like Timothy Tiger. Cow. Cow. W cow. Cow. Pig. Pig. G. That's right. Fox. X. Ooh, five push-ups. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, five. Five. Mm. Leaf. Ball. Oh, excellent. Now, moving on to our next thing. All right, so... This is in your packet, so you can have your parents help you find this book. If you want to hold the book, it's in your packet, and you can have your parents help you fold it. So make sure your parents mark this off on the learning menu. All right, so I put it on the screen to make it easier for you, so that way if you don't want to go look for it, you don't have to. So these stories are mostly um, sight words, so a lot of the words you can't sound out because they're sight words, and sight words... You can't stand outside words. You just have to memorize them. Okay. My bean sprout. Okay. So I'll read this to you. And then you guys can read it to yourselves later or to your dog or to someone. By Cindy Petey. Illustrated by Maxine Lee Mackey. So the author of the story is the one who wrote the story. And the illustrator is the one who did the pictures. Maybe they painted the pictures or they could have created the pictures digitally. So let's read the story. Uh oh, hey, this story looks way easier than the story from yesterday. Let me go back to the beginning. So my bean sprout. I have seeds. This story is a lot easier than yesterday's story. Let's see what she's going to do with the seeds. I have water. Ooh, my class is going to be excited because you guys already know what seeds need to grow. Or plants, just in general. I have sunlight. You guys should color your stories. Make it more pretty. You draw the sun. That's it. I guess that was it. My bean sprout, I have seeds, I have water, I have sunlight. I bet her plant will grow nice and big now. Cause that's, And she also needs space. Yep, we need some room to grow. Time for math. We are going to do another fitness fluency. Oh my goodness, my silly computer. We are going to do another fitness fluency, but this time it's all about tally marks. And this is exciting because we use tally marks in class a lot when we're playing games and we have to compete against each other, we always use tally marks to keep score. Let's see who wins. Oh, well this one's easy. Okay, how many tallies is that? Just one. That's easy peasy. Okay, so I'm going to help you with this one. I'm going to count them with you first. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, and then you have to do this one, five, six, seven the next one. You guys can count that on your own. That's right. Four. Jumping jacks. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, okay, I want you guys to count this one. Do not forget to include that guy right there. You should have counted one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, this one's a little bit trickier. Okay, count those. Did you get it? If you need more time, pause the video. Okay, let's see what you got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one's so easy. You can do that one. That's right. Three. Okay, let's do this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's see if there's any more. One more, and we're done. Okay. Go ahead and count it. You probably could just know it by looking at it, huh? You're right. One, two, three, four, and five. That was so easy peasy. What happened? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the next part of the slide is welcome to the zoo. It's counting to 100. So what you need to do at the end of the video is um, click on the link in the description box. And if you don't see it, click on the thing that says show more and it'll show you the link to this video. And that parents, this is part of something that you can check off in the learning menu. Count to 100. Ooh, I've been looking forward to this one. Oh my, how am I gonna, here we go. So what we're gonna do together is find this page, okay? So I need you to look in your packet and find this page. It's an addition one. There's two in there. There's one that has subtraction and there's one that has plus, okay, addition. And if you need to know the difference, let me show you. It says right here at the top, it starts with an A and it says addition. And well, that's not good because you can't see it now, silly me right here, addition. And you'll also see a bus, and you'll see all the addition sign, the symbol, the plus symbol, see it? So look for that page, okay? And then you can work with me on it. If you can't find the page, it's okay, we can do it together on here. All right, let me move myself over to the side so I'm not in the way. Let's practice some of these top ones together. All right, so we have a bus here. It looks like we have four. So trace this four on your paper. Four kids on the bus plus one. So make sure you're tracing it on yours. I know mine disappeared. Four plus one equals, what does it equal? Let's count it and count it and find out. One, two, three, four plus one more would be one, two, three, four, five. Or you can use your fingers and say one, two, three, four, plus one more is five. So make sure you write five. It's very hard to write on the computer with the mouse. All right, let's do this one right here at the bottom. So we have, looks like we have these kids right here. They're getting their lunch. And then these other kids are getting ready to join them right here, okay? So we have three kids getting ready to eat lunch, plus, so make sure you're writing it on yours, plus two more kids equals three plus two equals, let's find out how much three plus two is. One, two, three, and then here's our two more, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Write the five. Three plus two, okay? Three plus two, so you could say I have three and then I need to add two more. One, two, that's five. Three and two are friends of five, that's right. All right, so here we have two blocks that say B and two blocks that say Y, or not two, one block that says Y. Okay, so one block 
this is y and two blocks that say b. Okay, so two blocks plus one block equals how many all together? One, two, three. And you can write it on your paper, pause it if you need to, and double check. Two plus one more equals three. Two and one are friends of three. Okay, now down here we have one block plus three blocks, okay? One plus three equals how many? So I have one here and three more. Let's count all of them. One, two, three, four. Okay, the next part of the page. Ooh, this is the last part of the page. It's a little bit more tricky. It's larger numbers, but we can do it. Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blocks, okay? Seven. Write your seven. Plus, ooh, look right here, guys. We don't know. It's empty. Seven plus what number equals ten? How are we going to get to ten? That was a really bad ten. Let me fix it. Seven plus what number, how many more, equals 10. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need to draw some more. Eight, nine, 10. How many more did I draw to get to 10? That's right, just three. So write a three right there. Seven plus three equals 10. Seven and three are friends of 10. All right, now we have, let's count how many we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight blocks plus how many more will equal 10? Okay, so if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I have to draw them, nine, 10. How many more did I have to draw to make it? That's right, just two, so write a two right here. Okay, eight plus two equals 10. If you need me to slow down, pause the video and catch up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have number nine plus how many? equals 10. Okay, well let's figure out how many more I need to draw. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Just one. All right, now we're over. This side will be pretty quick. So we have three boats. It looks like maybe, are those boats or jet skis? I can't tell. So three boats plus how many are we going to put right here? How many are left? Good. Right there. You can see it. Two equals five. Oh, sloppy handwriting, but that's okay. One, two, three, four, five. So three plus two equals five. Okay, so we have one helicopter plus how many more helicopters equals four. Okay, you can use the picture to find the answer, or you can use your brain. Look, I already have one and I need to get to four. So use your brain. So I have one, two, three, four. How many more did I put up? I already had this one up and I had to add that, those. So that was three more. One plus three equals four. And you guys are really good at this because remember we would always play the game in class the um, I have one and my friend has three, so one and three are friends of four. You guys would go find it or you would find something else, like another friend of four. Two and two are friends of four. Zero and four are friends of four. Do you remember playing that game? It was so fun. It looks like this is a canoe, maybe? Four plus one equals five. I gave away the answer, sorry. Okay, so 
in your packet, you have this page, okay? What I want you to do is find it. Or if you can't find it, that's okay. Because what you're going to do is have someone set the timer for one minute. And you are going to say your numbers as fast as you can like this, watch. One, four, five, eight, seven, four, three, zero, three, five, seven, six, four, three. And you're gonna do that for a minute. So have someone set the timer and you do that. Also parents, this is in the packet, so don't forget to check it off on the learning menu. Writing. This writing's super cool. It's about llamas and it's with Miss Ocampo, okay? Parents, this is a skill from the packet. Check it off on the learning menu. At the bottom of this video, in the description box, you will see a link to this video. So do this video with Miss Ocampo for your writing and that will cover your writing for the day. Okay, whoa. Um, and Miss Ocampo is really great at teaching writing, so that's a really good video. So click the link below in the description box. If you can't see it, you need to click where it says show more, and then you'll see it, the link to her writing. And do that for your writing. Then, also another skill from the packet for PE, I want you to do the sad, or the not sad llama, the llama song from Go Noodle. Same thing, description box, click show more, you'll find the link to the video. Same thing, art, which is also a skill from the packet. I thought it'd be fun if you uh, could learn how to draw Kristoff. If you don't want to draw Kristoff, you can find um, this Art for Kids YouTube channel that I have the link in the description box. Um, it's really fun. You can draw that. There's also Elsa and there's Anna and I even saw Olaf on there. So there's a fun art project for the day. It is part of art, so you can check it off. So here are all the links. You can't click on them, but I will copy and paste them into the description box and you will be all set. So that's it for today. Um, I want you to make sure, so this is learning packet two, day four. You should have already done day one, day two, day three. Day four is now completed after you follow those links. Tomorrow is day five. Okay, and it'll look very much the same. And then you'll be done with learning packet two. As long as you check off what you did on that menu, let me show you my menu. You only had to complete four things from this side, four things from this side, three from here and two for here and do PE every day. If you did all five of these videos, you should be done after tomorrow. All right, and then learning packet three is coming out. Anyways, I hope everybody has a great day and I miss you all.